Welcome back to KREX 5 News at Noon, otherwise known as this segment, Montrose Mondays, my favorite segment of the week. Really? Because it's mine too, Riley. No way. <laughs> we have that in common. This is Tanya Maddox. If you're just tuning in, she is the CEO of Our Town Matters. Montrose Mondays happens every Monday. She fills the Western Slope in on all things going on in Montrose. Tanya, how are you today? I am fabulous. You know what? Good. It is the very first day of November. So do you know what that means, Riley? What does that mean? <sighs> that means Christmas. <laughs> I love that you love Christmas in I November too. I'm one of those Christmas people. Christmas in November. <laughs> and guess who else loves Christmas in November? Everyone who wants to go Christmas shopping early. So on November the 5th, and the 6th, that's this Friday and Saturday, the uh, Montrose Women's Club used to host a um, holiday bazaar. So now with COVID, the um, Women's Club is not hosting that, but that holiday bazaar is still going on. It is happening Friday and Saturday, um, but all of the vendors got together to put this event on themselves, which is pretty darn exciting. So they wow. still wanted to um, offer crafts and so forth for everyone who wants to do that early Christmas shopping. Okay, so if you want it, if you're an organized person, unlike myself, I, I always either. say every year I'm going to go Christmas shopping early, like get all my money together. Be, I never do it. Maybe really? I will this year. This is a good opportunity. Well, come down to Montrose. We're going to be at Friendship Hall, okay. and it is Friday from 9 until 4, and Saturday from 9 until 3. So that's Friendship Hall. It's a holiday crafts bazaar. And then not only will you have craft makers and so forth out there, but there are some of the Main Street gift shops are going to bring lots of their inventory out to this Ooh. as well. So you'll be able to get some new stuff, some crafty things, and you might even see Santa. Oh, no way. <laughs> Santa in November. I'm in. <laughs> I knew you would be in, Riley. So, all right. Do you know what is, else is happening this weekend? What? It is the party of the century, and I am not making this up. The Montrose Rotary Club, I told you guys a couple of weeks ago that they're turning 100 years old, and they're going to go out in style. So on Saturday, November the 6th, there's going to be classic cars from every decade, from 1921 to 2021. No way. Yes way, Riley. <laughs> and we have a band. So you have Neon Sky is going to be out there playing. We got this extreme skier. Her name is... Um, Natalie, I'm um, sorry, Natalie Nelson. It's actually uh, Hillary, Nelson. Hillary Nelson. And she is the keynote speaker um, at this event. So I'm sure she's going to talk about doing things in an extreme way. But, you know, we're going to um, combine just events as well as unique organizations. The Montrose Rotary Club is a very unique organization. Not only is it one of the um, oldest, you know, club, service clubs at 100, but they are going to put on display a timeline of their last 100 years in Montrose. And guess what's on that timeline? What? Things like building the new high school in Montrose. It's not wow. new anymore, but it was then there. Mm -hmm. The pavilion where all of these productions are put on. The uh, Montrose Rotary Club helped raise funds for that. This event that's happening on Saturday, uh, proceeds will go to building um, Rotary Boulevard, which is three to four houses through Habitat for Humanity, which is going to help our community with the housing issue. So the Rotary Club not only has given back over the past 100 years, their goal is to leave a legacy for the next hundred years. That's incredible. A century of just giving to their community. Yes, and it's just, I haven't been here a century, and I won't be at the next one, probably. <laughs> <laughs> But I am looking forward to attending that event. Um, it's going to be at the Montrose County Event Center. It's in the large arena, so they're expecting okay. 400 people. Oh yes. my gosh. And on Friday, they're opening up this historic timeline to all of the school districts. So all of the students and teachers can come through on Friday from 9 to 4 and um, just view the timeline, sift through some historic documents, and have a good old time. I can't even imagine how much time it probably took them to put together a timeline of a hundred years of hard work. Yes, yes, trust me, it took a lot of time. And one of the last things that they um, were part of is the new amphitheater that's in Cerise Park. So it's called the Rotary Amphitheater. This Rotary Club is active and they're ready to celebrate. So that's why I want to wow. spend a lot of time talking about that today. Thank Absolutely. you for letting me. <laughs> well, they deserve it. So it sounds like you have two opportunities to go and, I mean, not only just involve yourself in Montrose yes. local community events, but give back to the Rotary Club that's been giving to the community for so long, as well as go get some local gifts from gift shops, holiday shopping. 
Yes. That's awesome. Is there anything you're looking for? I might pick something up for you, Riley. Stop it, Tanya. No, <laughs> she spoils me already in compliments. Yes. It's too much. Well, Tanya, <laughs> that is unfortunately all the time we have for this Montrose Monday, but I'm so glad you got to come join us, and we will see you next week. Thank you, Riley. See you next Thank week. Thank you. Yes, we'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned.